Hello and welcome to Big Old Bits Card Trap Vanguard Weekly Update. My name is James and today I'll be going through the card train throughout the past 7 days. The first card of the week is a grade 3 for Kagro, Fire Rage Dragon. His skill is Auto, Rearguard Circle, Vanguard Circle, when placed, cost Counter Blast 1 and Sword Blast 1, put the top card of your deck into the drop zone, choose the same number of your opponent's rearguards as the grade of that card and retire them. If you did not retire even one unit, this unit gets plus 1 critical till the end of the turn. This is quite a cool skill. It's not as good as Dual Axe Dragon, who was shown as a promo, but this card works on Rearguard Circle as well, which gives it good flexibility, especially in Dragonic Overlord, as Overlord himself doesn't retire much through his skills. Like Dual Axe Dragon, this works really nice combined with Kimnara, and could possibly retire the whole field. I was mistaken last time I mentioned a Bermuda card being the last of their VRs, as the true last VR is Top Star CL. Interestingly, she's a grade 1, and has the first skill of continuous rearguard circle your other rearguards in the same column as this unit cannot be attacked. This is really useful to keep your melody unit safe, and her second skill is auto rearguard circle when placed, costs soul plus one and reveal a grade three from your hand. Look at seven cards from the top of your deck, reveal up to one card with melody from among them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your deck. It's really good that you don't need to discard your first card that you revealed. It's pretty good to get a better chance of getting the grade 3, grade 3 vanguard you want, especially in a deck where you only run one of each. But it doesn't stop you from being grade stuck as you need a grade 3 in the first place. Shapely Eyes Rue is a grade 2 with continuous rearguard circle. If you draw a card by your card ability during this turn, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. Now luckily draw triggers do count to this, and this means you won't be able to gain extra buffs for each draw, but you will go to plus 5,000, as you will only go to plus 5,000 at most. But with the amount of counter blast in Bermuda, a free power buff is always welcome. We also have a grade 1 with Admirative Solo Atori. Has continuous rear guard circle. If you have no other units in the same column as this unit, this unit cannot be chosen nor be retired by your opponents of card effects. This works really well with the grade 4 that can give you an XL marker, as she won't be able to be boosted even if you wanted to on that. But she would still get decent power. Glass Session Ostina is a grade 2 with auto rearguard circle. When it attacks a vanguard, if all of your units on vanguard circle and rearguard circle have different card names, this unit gets plus 5000 power until the end of that battle. This works nicely for the playstyle of the grade 4s, just wanting one copy of almost every card, but it's not a big power buff for the effort, unfortunately. Max Shout Curia is a grade 0 that's not meant as a starting vanguard and has the skill of auto. When your drive check reveals this card, you may put a trigger from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck. This is an odd card, but with the amount of shuffling Bermuda has, this could prove very useful. I don't know why you'd want to run this much though, and as it's specifically when it's been in the drive check, and apart from that it's just a vanilla 5k in your hand. Glittery Baby Reen is the perfect guard draw trigger of the set. There are a couple of promos this week too, they're still both for Bermuda Triangle, but the first one is a grade 2 with Livin Utopia Luca. All she has is Melody, but that is enough as she gains all the buffs from your grade 3s. She can also be searched out because of this keyword, which is incredibly useful. Fluffy Fantasy Miaf is another promo, and is a grade 2 with auto vanguard circle rearguard circle when its attack hits a vanguard. If you have more rearguards than your opponent, cost soul blast 1 and draw a card. A bit awkward as it doesn't gain power, but stick 1 or 2 force gifts under her and she should be doing well to fill your hand up. Finally for this week, we have some premium Bermuda Triangle support that comes in the premium collection, with the stride, wishful sunny stage, Shandy. She has harmony and Continuous Vanguard Circle, if you have 6 or more units in Harmony, this unit gets plus 1 critical for each face-up card in your G-Zone. This can easily get to a silly amount of criticals, but she also has Auto Vanguard Circle when it attacks, costs Counter Blast 1, and turn a card from your G-Zone face-up. Look at 10 cards from the top of your deck, call up to the same number of cards from among them as your units in Harmony to Rearguard Circle, and shuffle your deck. So this pretty much easily fills your field while you only have to do half the work as normal. Also, it's nice that she can use this in any Bermuda deck due to its lack of heart restriction, which may be a theme we see from the other strides too. And that is everything for this week. Be sure to check out next week when I'll be going through the card showing throughout the next 7 days, and hopefully we'll be seeing some VRs from the new VEBO6. So I hope to see you next time. Bye!